Holoprozen Kafli is a birth defect involving the developing baby's brain. Normally, the brain divides into two hemispheres during early development. Holoprozen Kafli occurs when the brain fails to divide properly into right and left hemispheres. What happens to the baby with Holoprozen Kafli? Where the abnormality is so severe, the babies tend to die before the birth, but in less severe cases, the babies are born with a normal or near normal brain development and the facial deformities that may affect the eyes, nose and upper lip. There are three types of this abnormality depending on how severe the abnormality is. These types are alobar, where the brain has not divided at all and it is the one that typically is associated with the facial features. Another type is that of the semilobar where the division of the brain into hemispheres is incomplete. The third one is lobar in which there is separation of the hemispheres. What causes holoprosum cafli? Is it a hereditary condition? This condition can be inherited but this is not always the case. Inherited causes include certain types of chromosomal abnormalities, especially when there is extra chromosome 13, a condition known as Pitau syndrome, and changes in single genes called mutation that causes a combination of problems in the same person known as syndromic disorders. Some cases are sporadic, that is, they occur out of the blue. The genetic testings are done to answer to the questions patients usually ask. How is holoprozen cafli inherited? It depends upon the specific cause of the condition, but in non-syndromic holoprozen cafli, it is usually inherited as an autosomal dominant disorder. Here we have ultrasound appearance of the holoprozen cafli. On ultrasound, along with the monoventricles which are dilated, we also observe the fused central thalami. How is it likely to occur again in the future pregnancy? There is a small risk of this happening again, but this will depend on the reason why the baby had this condition. A genetic specialist will provide more information about the recurrence risk in the future pregnancies. Is there a treatment for, for holoprozen in Kafli? Each child has a unique degree of malformations. Treatment must be individualized. In general, the treatment is largely symptomatic and supportive. There is no specific cure of this abnormality, but where there are associated abnormalities, especially those of face, these can be corrected. What abnormalities are associated with holoprozen cafli? These abnormalities include cyclo cyclopia, in which there is single eye, median cleft lip, that is hair lip and palate, and missing of the front teeth. Those affected may suffer from developmental delays seizures and have a small head and multiple hormone deficiencies and feeding difficulties. These can be managed by appropriate experts with much support. Cyclopia is a rare form of holoprozen cafli and is a congenital disorder characterized by the failure of embryonic pros and cephalon to properly divide the orbits of the eye into two cavities. It is the severest facial expression of holoprozen cafli syndrome. What is the life expectancy of someone with holoprozen cafli? This depends upon the type of abnormality. Those with the most severe form are often born dead. Less severe forms will be alive till the age of 12 months. Can its occurrence be prevented? There is no way to prevent its occurrence if it is inherited. Then, there is possibility of screening the embryos before putting them in the uterus using a technique called pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. For this to happen, the exact gene or chromosome responsible for this must be known. So that is the end of presentation. Holoprozen cafli is one of the fetal anomaly. Here we have a list of other fetal anomalies as well. We will explain all these one by one in different videos like here we have a hydrocaphlic baby. This is spina bifida, encephalocele, fetal cardiac anomalies, fetal renal anomalies, and the Porter syndrome, which involves the fetal renal abnormalities, oligohydramnios, and fetal compression. 
It is associated with fetal facial abnormalities, pulmonary hyperplasia, and the limb defects. So thank you so much. That was all about holoprose and gaffley and some other fetal anomalies. Subscribe on Ops and Gyne. Allah Hafiz.